What is up guys? Today I'm going to be walking you through the 9 bar OPV mod for the Gaja Classic Pro. As I've talked about before, one thing that I think makes the Gaja unique as compared to other budget espresso machines uh, is the community behind it and all the people who love this machine and are actively modding and using it. Um, and two, just the mods that you can do to this thing that leveled up and take it from like a $500 machine to easily over a $1,000 machine. And that's why I chose it. Out of the box, the Gaja has a pressure of about 13 to 15 bars, which is a little bit higher than the industry standard of nine bars. And so today we're gonna be replacing the spring inside this thing that will take it to a nine bar. This mod is super cheap and really is a no brainer if you're gonna buy this machine. I've had the Gaja for about two months now and I've intentionally not replaced this spring yet. Um, so it is at the factory setting. I've done nothing to it except replace like this knob right here um, because I really wanted to get a feel for what it's like out of the box. And now after this mod, how it performs and really be able to notice the difference. Supposedly this mod is supposed to help with channeling, uh, spurting and overall just create a more consistent dialed in shot and just make an overall better experience. One disclaimer is that doing this mod might void the warranty. I'm not totally sure on that. So just be careful, know what you're getting yourself into, but I knew buying this thing that I wanted to do this and this is a risk I'm willing to take. For this mod, all you're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a 10 millimeter wrench. A few things I'd recommend doing before starting this mod are emptying the boiler, making sure the water reservoir is taken out and emptied, um, and unplugging it. So first things first, we're just gonna unscrew the top here with our Phillips head. You've just got two screws, and then you're simply gonna lift from the back and pull out and it'll just slide out right at the front. Now, step two, here is the nine bar spring. So step two, we want to wiggle loose this tube here and this is where the 10 millimeter wrench comes in. Now, ideally you would just wanna be able to loosen this with your hand and pull it off, but for whatever reason, uh, my tube was exceedingly tight. So I ended up unscrewing it while the tube was still attached. Do this gingerly as you do not want to break the water pump here. Now, as you can see, I was also still having a hard time pulling this thing out. Uh, so I just went ahead and took the whole tube out so I could get some more leverage on it and uh, wiggle it out. Boom, we got it out. So now we're just gonna take out that old spring, reinserting the tube here. Here's our new spring. Just gonna insert this where the old one is and now work backwards. I would recommend hand tightening this at first and only use the 10 millimeter wrench when you have to. And again, just be very careful here. There is a hard stop as you're tightening this down. Definitely use two hands to support the water pump here. Boom, got it tightened down. Thumbs up, we're good to go. Now, just gonna reinsert the tube here. Slid on, no problem. Nice and tight. We'll just pop the top back on. Screw it back in, make sure you kept track of these little screws here because they are very easy to lose. And I went ahead and just kept the old spring as well just in case I ever decide to sell the Gaja down the road or upgrade or whatever. I just like holding on to it so that I have it. Went ahead and relabeled it so that I know this is the original. All right, so now the nine bar OPV mod is complete. So let's pull a shot and see what it looks like now with this mod done. Thanks for watching. Again, please consider liking and subscribing for more. Appreciate you guys.